Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower page with myself, Thomas Janak, and today I have a guest, L.M. Cook. Welcome. And I'm not even at home, I'm in her house. And you can see this beautiful imagery here. That's all awesome artwork that will be part of a card deck that we're working on. Um, sort of a deck, sort of about the deeper messages of animal guides, if that makes sense. And um, we are starting a Kickstarter very soon. Um, and so keep an eye out, it will be announced on this channel, so please subscribe, really, really important. But right now what you're watching here is the um, general reading for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Virgo. So remember, Virgos, you are the sign that supposedly doesn't really give in or, or doesn't really get annoyed under pressure. So we'll see if that is um, sort of reflected in the overall energy or not. So let's have a look at the overall energy, then we go into the emotional core before we then go into opportunities. Here are the, here is the overall energy for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Virgo. <laughs> yeah, I said it very quietly. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> okay, so the overall energy for Virgo for this month, the card that's come up is Forest Temple, which is Enlightenment, which is an interesting card for Virgo, to, but to be honest. Yeah. Think about what you need to know and what you don't need to know, because actually, again, you, you can sort of focus on the wrong things. You can, you, can, you can distract yourself by concentrating on the minutiae when actually there are bigger picture things going on. So the Enlightenment here is think about what you need to know and follow those paths, follow those truths and forget all the little petty distractions that are going to come in your way that can, can you know, make you veer off course unnecessarily. The enlightenment will happen when you focus on the important stuff in your life and the, the, the big picture things. Okay, thank you very much. And it's interesting because the uh, moving into the emotional core, we have growth and connect. So by looking at what it is you need to know, you're already connecting to the essence of what you should be looking at. So you're, so you're in a way dismissing the clutter that your mind normally provides, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So being focused is really, really important. And because it is about connection, what is important for your emotional core, for the feeling of being acknowledged, for the feeling of, of belonging, for the feeling of, um, connecting to yourself and others is literally because you have growth here as a word is to really just focus on things that are energetically speaking high so nothing uh, that is uh, you, you said that nothing too petty if that makes sense in order for you to focus on growth you need to first allow yourself to grow so acknowledge yourself understand that sometimes growth can be difficult and so that you have to push through things in order for growth to happen even though I don't necessarily feel it as difficult that month but this is about reflecting on how you normally go about your business um, and because the, the growth and the connect here are sort of obviously separate cards and they don't feel very connected or interconnected at least um, you will sometimes feel connected first or, ha or have the feeling I need to be connected first before I can grow. And so it um, stands to reason that there's a part of you that sort of looks for patterns um, to cling on to. And um, the message here clearly is that you just should follow whatever flow presents itself. I think the energy here that I get for Virgo is when it comes to um, attracting love and, uh, and dealing with anything emotional, um, at times you can be a bit analytical and it can be a bit of a downside when you're not using your, your, your gut feeling, your intuition, because your intuition will oftentimes help you assess what is for you and what isn't much quicker than the analytical side. That's what I get for the emotional core um, for the months of June 2022. For the sign of Virgo, you're watching Thomas' Tower page with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest, Ellen Cook. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And now we're looking at the last area, which is opportunities. 
and the card that fell out of the deck for opportunities was the Owl Spirit, which is Wisdom. Now this is interesting because I think this is saying to you, think very carefully about what you're doing with your finances this month and about where you're, you know, where you're spending your money, what kind of things you're investing in. Um, and to a certain extent, think about that in terms of yourself as well, not just financially. What, where are you spending your energies? Because if you, again, linked to everything we've had before, we've, we've had sort of um, energy and, and connection and things going, uh, coming forward. And enlightenment was the fir very first card we had. So you need to exercise your discretion to work out where the best things for you are um, and use that wisdom, use that knowledge of what things work for you and what things don't work. And don't be frivolous. Again, ignore all the petty things, all the little demands um, to spend money on little bits of the stuff that you don't need. Ignore all of that. Be wise. Look at the biggest stuff you need. Look at what you need to help move you forward throughout the rest of this year. Um, and, and that's going to be quite important for you. So just just be very thoughtful about what you're doing and how you're moving forward. And you're a Virgo, so that shouldn't be too much of a, a challenge for you. Just, you know, sort of be comfortable in yourself and how you're moving things forward and use that wisdom and discretion to, to keep yourself within the levels that you have at the moment. Okay, thank you very much. That's all we have time for. Please, 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 please like, subscribe and share. Share as wisely as you can. I hear people saying to me like, oh, I didn't share because most of my friends, my friends aren't Virgos. I don't care. Share anyway, right? Because if it resonates with you, who knows where else uh, it's going to resonate with. It's, it's a free service. So all we're asking you is to share it all widely. Make this a bit, a bit bigger, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. And I see you all uh, next month. Bye-bye.